the soup. Sorry. <laughs> Today is the 2nd of November and we happen to be here in Kulipe, which is an island in the southern part of Thailand. Just to put it into some context, after spending a month in Japan, we traveled to a place called Krabi. We stayed in Aonang Beach area for two days and then after many many hours of vans, transportation, ferry rides, whatever, we are now here in Kulipe. We've been here for a couple of days and it's just really, really, really nice. For those of you who have been watching for a while, you would know that I have traveled around Thailand for a month this year as well, but I've never been here to Koh Libe before, so it's a new island that I'm really excited to explore. Today is just gonna be super chilled, relaxed, and I just wanted to show you a full day of doing nothing essentially here and just living the island life. It's a very, very beautiful place with lots of beautiful beaches and just a lot to explore. And I wanted to share it with you, of course. It's getting appropriate to go and have some breakfast now so we're gonna do that and the good thing about this place is that we've got breakfast included which is really awesome so let's go and eat water is absolutely amazing we have the entire beach to ourselves because it's literally just us and a private hidden resort whatever there is no one staying here i guess anyway i thought i wanted to mention just a little bit about why we're actually in Kolipe and where it actually is precisely so first of all Kolipe is the southern part of thailand it's an island which is located pretty close to the malaysian border and furthermore it's inside a national park so you have to pay a fee of 200 baht once you get here but it lasts for i think about a week and then you can just go around to all these islands which we did when we went snorkeling so you pay once and then you're good to go when you stay here Kolipe is known for its like laid-back atmosphere super nice beaches and just overall chilled and unspoiled vibe because compared to a lot of the other islands I've been to in Thailand I definitely feel that this is much more of a hidden gem so far but I think it's also because it is way more expensive compared to Koh Tao, Koh Phangan, Koh Samui and every other island I've been to in Thailand so far but I think it is because it attracts a much older audience and it's also known to be a very popular honeymoon wedding destination which actually brings me to why we are here because it made a lot of sense to go here because it was close to oh well relatively close to Aonang and we actually got our one year anniversary of being a couple coming up tomorrow hey hey <laughs> So we just wanted to go here to relax fully and literally just yeah soak up some sun and some vitamin D. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go back into the ocean, swim around for a bit more, swim around, <laughs> swim around a bit more and just <sighs> soak in some more of the sun because it's absolutely wonderful here. I am feeling a quite thirsty right now, so I think it's not gonna be too long until we go and get something else to drink, not just water because we want to get something else. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go back in now. <laughs> and I am Sandy everywhere right now. Wille fisk. I could say it. I really miss having my daily matcha as I had in Japan or well as we had. But here in Thailand I've become super addicted to Thai milk tea. It's not the same but it's freaking good and I need to find it in a supermarket and buy it to take it home because yeah I found a new addiction thank god it's super cheap but still
lunch today, I decided that I wanted to get a full body massage because if they're good at something here in Thailand, it's massages. My body right now just hurts so freaking bad. Those tiny ladies, they just crush you or whatever. What I wanted to mention to you is that first of all, it's approaching 6 p.m. right now. We don't have that much stuff that we want to do today rather than just chill around until we're gonna have dinner later. However, I did record something for you yesterday that I thought I wanted to share with you now because we did go snorkeling here. We did go on a trip to some of the islands around here in the national park that Koh Lipe is situated in, situated, located. Instead of talking about it, I'm just gonna show it to you because I did record it. Let me just show you what it looked like. <laughs> Walk through the fire, the sound of a lion. I found my way back in the end. Baby, I've fallen for you. really really great experience however right now i am really thirsty and water just doesn't do it for me at this point so i'm gonna head down to a 7-eleven after i've just freshened up a little bit i'm gonna catch you once i get down there I'm here at 7-Eleven and something interesting that I just wanted to talk to you guys a bit about is how much the prices vary all around Thailand. Just to put things into a perspective, it gets much more expensive when you're on an island compared to the mainland because these banana muffins, for instance, I've had so many of them. On mainland, they tend to be like 10 baht or something and here they're like 15. It's not expensive at all, that's not what I'm saying, but it's just interesting how much the prices vary depending on where you're actually located in the country. Of course, it's because you have to get everything sailed and delivered to, but um, it's just something to take into consideration when you choose an island in which you want to stay at. However, we are going to get some of these Pepsi Max raspberry thingies. Apparently, we have them in Denmark too, but I just found them here and they are absolutely divine. I may have developed a slight addiction. Anyway, we're gonna get this and then head for some dinner because we are about to get quite hungry. Thank you. 